marketing team have attended numerous events and industry trade shows around the world. Taking advantage of the high-profile APEC conference held in Vancouver in November of 97, conference delegates were invited to the CFI site for an up-close look at a local initiative with definite plans for the future. This ship you see behind me is proof of our government's commitment to the shipbuilding industry, not in the sense of subsidizing or propping up the industry, but rather in the sense of exposing the industry to new technologies, new designs, new ways of doing things smarter and more productively. And it's working. As the Pacific at structure enters the late phases of construction, the project workforce nearly doubles. Other trades come on to do wiring, fitting, and related tasks. Mid-January, 98, John Wells takes the helm as CFI's new general manager. What we've done now, with, with John coming on board, uh, he has allowed us to sit down evaluate every area of the ship with in terms of aluminum construction, uh, erection, outfitting, painting, uh, and engineering schedules in account too, and, and set a launch date that uh, we can live with and, and uh, that the public will know and something that they can bank on too. As the structure is coming together and your structural workforce is declining, your outfitting workforce increases. Naturally, one says to the other, Hey, you, sh you're, you shouldn't be here, you're too early. And the other guy, the outfitting guy, says, well, you should have been finished. That is the thing that a project needs, and we now have it. And I think, I think they can see the light at the end of the tunnel. They know that we have realistic goals, and it's up to them. Management of the project proves as complex as the ship's high-tech construction. Contingencies, foreseen and unforeseen, abound. As engineers, we design to make it fuel efficient and reduce the weight and keep the strength. So we make these huge efforts to trim a half a millimeter of, of plate thicknesses here and there. And suddenly we have three cappuccino machines. And it, and it just it blows all the effort out the window. Communication is a little more difficult than in a tra traditional shipyard where everybody's under one roof. Now you have to take the time to see everybody, whereas in a traditional shipyard, most of the people are coming to you. These people all operate as independent companies, all wanting to make yeah. you know, their money, and basically uh, it's our jobs to make sure that they stay in line yeah, and we coordinate we'll them. Go over to our weekly objectives. First time that an aluminum ship of this type has ever been built in Canada. It's the second largest in the world, and we are learning. By spring of 1998, virtually all the major modules were in place in North Vancouver. Burton Drody, with many years' experience building aluminum workboats and yachts, helped at the CFI facility to ensure that everything went according to plan. We're uh, erecting all the modules that come from from Vancouver Island, from Ramsey and Port Alberni. Uh, everything essentially above the uh, lower car deck. The panels are all uh, glued and riveted, and uh, there's various uh, devices to, to attach the panels. The uh, whole upper strength deck supports uh, the accommodation, which is on vibration mounts, so that the, the customers have a, a good soft ride. I'm very pleased with the way things have gone. Uh, everything is on schedule, we're on budget, and we're really happy. There's a good market for these vessels, and I'm sure once we prove ourselves, we'll be busy. The emergent international market for high-speed catamaran design looks promising. The water jet propulsion system is the most efficient propulsion system available today in the speed range that these vessels are going to operate. Catamarans have become, in my view, the dominant craft in the world today because of their simplicity.
They enable conventional technologies in hull construction and propulsion to achieve very high performance levels at low maintenance cost, high reliability. One of the first things we realized when we came here was that while Georgia Strait gets very lumpy, it's not as bad a sea condition as the English Channel or other places overseas where our vessels are working. speed, efficiency. The three cornerstones of a design for which BC Ferries and their subsidiary, CFI, envision an emerging global market. Fast car ferries have changed the way people travel. They've changed the uh, economics of traveling. And uh, it's, it's certainly changed the way that, uh, well, ferry operators on a, on a worldwide basis have, have, have looked at their business. At last, the day arrives. A thousand tons of high-speed catamaran is pulled out of the Pier 94 shed onto the deck of a floating dry dock. To accomplish this loadout, we had to put 17 dollies under each side, under all the frames, for a total of 34. The object is always to try and hold her as though she had an equal load on the structure at all the points. And in fact, that's what we're able to achieve with this kind of hydraulics, that there is approximately 45 metric tons of load going down into each dolly, if you want to call it that way. The ease with which the huge vessel exits the shed is a testament to pre-planning. The cradles in which the hull modules were first transported to the shed were subsequently used to level and support the vessel during construction. Now, they become part of the trailer that transports Pacificat to the floating dry dock. They built it close to the west wall, and in fact, between the port side light was uh, cropped off a little bit, and we had 200 millimeters. In total, there was uh, 2,700 feet of steel wire rope on each side of those winch blocks. This is the first catamaran, to my knowledge, that has ever been launched this way. Some 600 unionized employees, more than 20 BC companies, and managers and workers in Sydney, Port Alberni, Victoria, and North Vancouver, this will be a day they will long remember, and hopefully one that will mark the birth of a revived shipbuilding industry in the province. When they decided to stretch the C-class ferries, people said it couldn't be done. During the super ferry program, it was filled with people who were critics of the super ferry program and they said that we couldn't do it. And similarly on this one, they said we couldn't do it and here it is, here's the proof right here. 